guys i'm in my conservatory today and although it was snowing this morning i am now sat here in a vest top because it is boiling hot the sun is streaming through the conservatory and it is truly like a greenhouse in here um but go outside and it is cold um i thought i'd do a quick video of my um plants that i have in the conservatory which aka my greenhouse um, I keep this heated on night at the minute because it is dropping quite cold so I have a little oil filled heater that I put on overnight and all my tender plants are in here so I'm going to turn you around and show you what I have got going on and um, what is in here at the minute. Okay so we'll start with the chilies. So I've got orange habaneros, I've got lemon drops, I've got sweet pepper um, and then I've got a cucumber here. So I've got two different types of cucumber, I've got masterpiece and then one called burpless, I mean who who thought of that name? Anyway, um, one of the cucumbers is just starting to kind of come up but it looks a bit odd, it looks like the leaves are misshapen so I don't know how that's going to go. I've also got a bell pepper here that just doesn't seem to be growing at all. It's been that kind of size for weeks, um, so that might fail as well. Um, I'm loving my chilli peppers though. Um, I can't say thank you to Jessie at Plot 37 enough for um, gifting me the seeds. I'm really looking forward to how they're going to go. Um, I've got Golden Fever Few and Chamomile. Um, I wanted to grow more herbs this year, but the compost that I got was compost from Asda. Um, it was three bags for a tenner and is very fibrous. And lesson learned there, it was not great for the really fine um, herbs, you know, seed herb seeds, because they are so fine. I think they've just got caught up in that compost and just strangled by it really. So you can see there, there's a tiny clump of chamomile there and only a couple of golden fever few. Um, more peppers here. I've got jalapenos, black jalapenos, sweet peppers, and I think that's it in this tray. All doing really well. Not ready to put on yet. I had a little look at the root system and they've still got plenty of um, space to fill out. So maybe a few more days, maybe a week or so, maybe even two, I don't know. Um, those ones are in slightly bigger pots and seem to be doing better. So I might pop them on into bigger pots, we'll see how I go. Um, this tray is quite full. Uh, here we go. Sunflowers, I don't, oh these are the Russian giant, that's why. I was going to say, I don't know why I have some more sunflowers because if you watched my last video you'll have seen I've got loads of the plot but excuse me these are the russian giants so they've got like the really really big heads on them um more herbs here i've got marjoram here um this one is summer savory that one is oh those are flowers so i've got gala galardia dahlias cucumbers at the front then i've got some um marigolds garlic chives and some basil there. In those two pots are some dahlias that never um, germinated. I'll give them another week or two and then give up on those. And then I've just sown that um, tray of brassicas. They'll stay in here just till they germinate. Then I'll harden them off and they'll go in the um, coal frame outside. And then in this one, I have got more flowers. I've got larkspur, antirrhinums, lobelia. I've got some herbs as well, lemon balm. I've got clear me, and that's not even come up yet. And again, I think it's because this compost is so fibrous. I think the seeds have just got completely lost. And I can't see any kind of sign of life of there, in there at all. Um, I know you shouldn't really disturb the soil, but look, it's just, look how fibrous it is. I really don't like it. I won't get it again. Um, 
I've got different varieties of courgettes that I've sewn that have just come up. So I've got a Tina, which is a yellow one. I've got some Carcazelle. I've got some Zucchini. So they have just um, been planted and germinated really quick. Some of them, some of them were still waiting for. Then I've got my tomatoes. Annette tripping over dogs here. Um, loads of different types of tomatoes. I've said before, they're a bit leggy um, and will be potted on within the next week or so. Um, loads of different types there. Again, these are seeds that I got from Jesse and um, some that I saved from last year. So I'm looking forward to them. And then another tray of brassicas. Again, we'll stay in here till they germinate and then I'll harden them off and they'll go outside to grow on. Okay, so I'm outside now. In the cold frame, we have kale, um, some scarlet, dwarf green and perpetual spinach. And we have some peas and beetroot. They'll all go up to the plot soon. And I'll replace this with the brassicas that are in the conservatory once I've moved these. Whew. Back in again. It's really cold out there. Beautiful when I've got the door shut in here. Um, but as soon as you go outside, that wind is so cold. Um, it just makes me realise that we are still very early on in the season. It's beginning of April. And although it's tempting to whack everything outside because the weather's been not too bad, we're actually going to have a bit of a cold snap and everything would die. Um, I've got to plant salads and radishes and that kind of thing. I haven't planted any carrots and parsnips yet. It's on my list of to-dos. I'm still a little bit behind. I feel a little bit behind. Um... I need to get some bed prep done at the allotment for all this stuff that I'm growing. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So that's what I'm kind of, or what I've got on the go. I've still got things to sow, like I say, my lettuces, my radishes, things that are quite quick crops. Um, and then like carrots and parsnips, which will be longer, you know, my parsnips, I mean, they take forever, don't they? Um, carrots, I'm going to grow them in pots this year and direct sow them straight down at the plot. Uh, parsnips, I'm going to pre-sprout them on some kitchen roll. Um, again, saw Jessie do that in one of her videos. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to test out my um, Koya based compost medium. So I got some Koya blocks in the unboxing of the mystery box from Sutton's that I got ages ago, um, past video. Um, if you look, I got a mystery box and in there was some Koya blocks. So I'm going to get those out of the allotment and I'm going to soak them and have a go at sowing some um, Cosmos and Calendula and a few bits and pieces in there. So it's all go go. Um, April is a very busy month. It is one of bed prep and seed sowing and the seed shuffle will soon start because once you've sown things they then need potting on and then you need room for those until they go outside and it just becomes a little bit of a juggling act and my conservatory ends up looking like a bit of a green well properly greenhouse but every every winter sill is full by the end of April and then it will all go down to the allotment into the polytunnel because fingers crossed, although we'll get frosts maybe till mid-May here, inside the polytunnel, it should be fine. So I will clear out everything and it has to go out then anyway because we're moving in May. So everything will have to go from here to the plot because I will then be homeless and I will have nowhere to put it. Um, that's a whole different story there. So yeah, so I'm... I'm feeling happy. I've got my seeds going. Um, quite a lot going on. So, uh, yeah, see you next time.